Hi everyone, welcome to the Laser Channel. My name is Greg and in today's video, I'm going to show you two different ways to engrave glass. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me for yet another project video on the Laser Channel. If you're following along at home, please read and understand the user manual that comes with your particular machine on how to safely operate your machine. Now with that covered, I really enjoy engraving glass with laser machines. And this is the first time that I've been laser engraving glass on a CO2 machine, specifically this Monport 40 watt desktop machine. The two methods that I'll be demonstrating for laser engraving glass are the quickest, easiest, with the most consistent and best results that I've seen. To get started, let's cover the materials that I'll be using. For the glass, I have a picture frame from the Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna be pulling the glass out of here, of course, and this is what I like to practice when I'm doing projects. Next up is some regular dish soap, followed by some regular tap water, and to finish off this short material list, some regular tissue paper. Now I'm using red tissue paper just because it's going to show up very nicely on the camera, but feel free to use whatever color tissue paper you have laying around your house. Off camera, I did a little bit of prep work, including removing that pane of glass from the picture frame that I have on the table here. I also used some denatured alcohol to remove any fingerprints, dust, or any contaminants on that piece of glass. I also took a nice scissors and I cut out two sheets of the tissue paper. I'm going to be doing two graphics, one for each method. Now, this tissue paper is going to act as our masking agent on that sheet of glass. And to hold the tissue paper in place, we're going to be doing one engraving using plain tap water. And then on the second piece of tissue paper, we'll be using dish soap. Now, the reason why I'm showing two different methods for this is my preferred method is to use water and tissue paper when I'm doing a flat sheet of glass. However, I was thinking ahead, and if you're doing something with a rotary or a curved surface, that water is just going to run off, and chances are the tissue paper might dry off during the engraving process and then float off of the piece of glass, and then that's where the engraving stops. So that's where the dish soap enters the picture. The dish soap will stay wet and it will allow that piece of tissue paper, that masking agent to stay wrapped around the glass as it's rotating around on your rotary attachment. Let's take a closer look at the application of this tissue paper masking agent using both water and the dish soap. When placing the tissue paper down for the water method, I know that the first graphic image is going to be near the top of the glass here. So this looks pretty good. And I'm going to grab one of these disposable uh, eye droppers. You can get a very large pack of these. I think this large pack of about 50 was under $10. I'll have a link of that product in the description down below. When adding water, I like to start in the middle and it doesn't take a whole lot of water to get this tissue paper to start wetting out. And we'll just completely saturate all of this tissue paper. In fact, if you like, you can even run your finger across the top and pull out any wrinkles that develop on this paper. Make sure that it's nice and even and pull out as many wrinkles as possible. And this looks good, it doesn't have to be perfect. That's what's really neat about this method. And I'm going to put the dish soap down right away as well. And for that, I'm gonna apply that directly to the glass. And I'm going to take one of these foam brushes and I'm just going to kind of smear that out across, just painting back and forth. Again, nothing too fancy and it's okay to be a little bit sloppy or even really sloppy with this. That's the whole point of this. A little bit more dish soap, and on this, I'm just going to smooth this out, and what I wanna see is just a nice, even color of that tissue paper. Get all of that nice and coated, 
both pieces of tissue paper are set up. That was super quick, super easy. We want to do this while both of them are still wet. Next, join me in the laser machine as I place the glass inside. Before placing the plate of glass inside my laser machine, I want to show you a couple things that I have. On my Monport 40 watt machine, I have an installed air assist kit and that lens is located a little bit higher up than the stock laser head. Now because of that, I need to raise my work material up a little bit and to take care of that, I have these red magnetic strips and I just stack these until I get the correct focal distance for my work material. And that's what we see off to either side here. And I'm ready to put my project material inside of the machine. Inside Lightburn, here's the two graphics that I'll be using. The top image will be the tissue paper with water and the bottom image will be the tissue paper with the dish soap. Both layers are on zero zero with the mode set to fill. The speed is 200 millimeters per second with the power at 20%. When I double click on this, we'll see that I have constant power mode active. I have the overscan on at two and a half percent and the lines per inch at 250. I have the crosshatch turned off. I do not recommend that. While I was testing this method out, one of the trials that I had is I had this enabled and it put too much heat into the glass and actually cracked it. If you like this video, don't be afraid to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel so you can see more great content and definitely ring that notification bell for the next time a video comes out. The engraving's all complete. Let's take a quick look at this. Everything looks good. Now the soap side here is still wet. However, the water side had dried out because this took longer than expected. Now, the reason that is, and some of you with the keen eye will have already spotted this, is when engraving in this direction, the laser head had to jump this white space here where we're not doing anything except wasting time. Had I turned my image 90 degrees, that it would have engraved across one entire image, jumped this white space gap onto the other one, significantly cutting down the total time inside the laser machine. But here again is something that even I learned. I'm still learning all the ins and outs of this. Let's take a look at what this looks like. So here's the first look straight out of the machine. And we'll move over to the tabletop and take an even closer look. It's time for the big reveal. You know, the paper is already kind of peeling back already. And here we've almost got a nice perfect stencil, but behind that is this nice engraving. And even with the paper starting to dry out, we still did engraving, but we can see a couple spots where the edges maybe aren't as clean as we'd like, but certainly over here where the tissue paper was still wet, everything looks great. Moving on to the dish soap side, we peel this off and this looks perfect. One of the things that engraving glass with the CO2 laser will do for you is produce a very strong, very textured surface. Sometimes you can actually feel some of the little shards of the shattered glass that make up the engraving. You can feel those on the surface. If you find that you have that, I like to take my eyedropper and put some water across the surface on either one of these engravings and I'll take some of this wet dry sandpaper. It looks like this. It's a silicone carbide sandpaper. I'm using ultra fine 600 grit and I'll get the sandpaper wet a little bit to move some of that water around and very lightly I'm just going to go over the top of the engraving and what this is going to do is knock down any of the high points that might be sharp to the touch And this sandpaper, again, with it being that silicone carbide sandpaper, this is waterproof. So if there's any soap on here, I can rinse this off and I can keep using it. This sandpaper getting wet isn't going to dissolve. It's really great for use after use. 
with that quick, very light sand done, I'm gonna take this off camera, finish washing off the soap, and I'll be back in just a second. This top graphic is the tissue paper with the plain water. Everything looks pretty good on it. However, when we move to this bottom image here, this is the one that had the dish soap and the tissue paper. And personally, I think this one turned out even better. All the edges of all the graphic lines turned out really nice, very sharp, very clean. And when I look through this, when I'm holding the glass up, there's the shimmer that is produced by the engraving with the dish soap that I just don't see using just the plain water. Wow, I just love the results that I got with this Monport 40 watt laser machine that I decided to put the pane of glass back into the picture frame. It truly is amazing the results that are produced using the economical materials of this tissue paper, water, or dish soap. One of the things that I found when I was testing this method is if I engraved too heavily into the glass, that engraving would actually start to peel away from the glass. When I saw that, I did one of two things. I either sped the machine up or I reduced the power level going out to the laser. If you try this method, I'd love to hear the results that you got. I'd love for you to share that in the comments down below. This was another fantastic project video. I really like how accessible the materials are, how economical it is to purchase the materials. Chances are you already have them in your home. I really love how quick and easy it is to prep the glass for the engraving. This is one of the quickest, easiest ways that I know how to engrave glass. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider liking this video, subscribing to the channel, or ringing that notification bell. Doing any number of those things really helps connect content like this with great viewers like you. Until next time, learn, create, and share.